Hello traders, hope you're doing well. Today morning, Nifty opened with a huge gap down. After that, it was trying to move towards the upside. Now, when market was somewhere here, in our private telegram group, we discussed about important support and resistance level, both for Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now, you can see this was the support and resistance for Nifty and this was the support and resistance for Bank Nifty. I clearly said that my view about the market is bearish and I will try to upload a video explaining my view. Now in this video while speaking about nifty i said that after this huge gap down people who entered buy positions at these areas definitely they would have exited with loss at the same time people who entered put option at the upper level definitely they would be in profit during this big gap down now if the big players do not wish to target these people then there is a high chance that nifty without moving towards the upside it can go up to the support level which we had discussed since target for this trade is big i said that with small stop loss we can consider a put option trade in bank nifty still the sentiment was not that clear now you can see as per our expectation nifty achieved the first target and also the second target today when nifty achieved the first target here i said people who entered here they are safe maybe they can trail their stop loss but entering fresh put positions here i thought is not a good idea because here you can see nifty has given a breakdown but bank nifty during this time where it has come it has come to the support you can see bank nifty support level was respected and this one candle movement was close to 220 points this one movement would have been very difficult for many people to handle that is why i said fresh put option trades in nifty also at this level is not a good idea now the next update i shared in the private telegram group is around 11:30 where I said, I have a strong feeling that Bank Nifty can turn bearish from these levels, exactly from this level or it can clear this week and then move towards the downside. You can see as per our expectation, this is where I said after that there has been a continuous momentum in Bank Nifty towards the downside. Yes, during the closing hours, there was some short covering rally. So today, Nifty moved as per our view and Bank Nifty also. First, we avoided entering put option because this can be a trap. And at this upper level, we changed our view to bearish. Why I changed my view to bearish? Because many times this level is acted as support. Now again, if fresh buying happens, that too with such a big candle, a retail trader will think again there can be a trend reversal in the market like this. So first, I thought market will trap these people, later move towards the downside. One more reason was, Nifty was holding on to the lower range. So many times consolidation, if it happens, the trend can continue, right? These two were the reasons why I changed my view to bearish when Bank Nifty was somewhere here. To a certain extent, market has moved as per our direction today also. Now let's see how we can plan our day for tomorrow. Traders, what you're looking at right now is a 15 minutes time frame chart of Bank Nifty. Now to save time, I've already marked important levels on this chart. Looking at these lines, don't get confused. I will explain everything to you one by one. Now, the first thing you can see is this trend line. We have marked this trend line because continuously this has been acting as a resistance level and this trend line this black line what you see it is acting as a good supporting level it's very clear that bank nifty has been trading in a downward channel pattern now one more important thing is apart from this supporting line bank nifty has one more supporting area here you can see this level acted as the first support again yesterday this level acted as support and today also this is the place from where market showed some short covering move now in price action there is a setup where market can continuously move towards the downside right at some point of time it might come out of this zone after that maybe a small retest then it can move towards the upside to remove all the weak people who entered put option during these pullbacks what do i mean by this is market has fallen like this during these pullback people have entered put position to push the market towards the downside people have entered here where will be their stop loss it will be at these levels so i feel if bank nifty is bullish tomorrow this setup might be possible we can expect a momentum towards the upside to do stop loss hunting tomorrow if bank nifty opens flat we are not going to do anything this becomes a symmetric pattern here we will be waiting for a breakout setup if we get a symmetric pattern breakout setup with small stop loss we can plan for a call that time this will be the first target second target if bank nifty is extremely bullish this can be a third target you can see this price levels if it is not visible definitely in our free telegram channel we will share the screenshot there you can refer now what if market opens with a gap down below this trend line i personally feel this area can be a no trading zone 
this is an important support level in the market 46,000 now the buyers who are here first attempt they tried to push the market towards the upside but they failed sellers took over the control now i feel before reaching 46,000, the buyers can again make one more attempt this time let's say after this move if market comes out of this zone then with small stop loss i will plan for a call option trade that time this will be my first target this area will be my second target this will be my third target 46,620, 46,770. 46,950. This is a setup which I am eagerly waiting for. For that, I am ready to give a small stop loss. But what if market opens gap down and just if it consolidates within this range? Then we will extend this level. Later point of time, before reaching 46,000, if it is giving any breakout setup, again with small stop loss, we will enter a call where these levels will be our target towards the upside. That time, this will be our final target in case my view changes or if market opens with extreme gap down or extreme gap down our trading plan might change that time i will share my update in the free telegram channel you can scan this qr code to join the group traders this is our free telegram channel where we have 24,890 subscribers here you can see every day morning before the market opens we share important levels for nifty bank nifty and fin nifty and also we share setup of stocks which has high probability of breakout or breakdown. Some interesting updates also during the live market, I share that here. If you are interested in this kind of content, you can join the group. The link is provided in the description box below. So in Bank Nifty, first we will try one breakout setup here where this will be my target. If it opens with gap down, at some point of time, the buyers will enter. So future, we will extend this level. If you get any breakout setup, if market goes above, 46,300 again then we can see momentum towards the upside to remove weak players from the market so this is about bank nifty let's look into nifty traders this is nifty daily time frame chart there is a very important thing which i would like to highlight to you you see in the market recent time what is happening a red candle is getting formed followed by a green again a red candle a green candle again a red a green candle in recent time also here also it is the same and here also it is the same today market has formed a red candle tomorrow there is a chance market can close with a green candle or indecision candle something like this or this this is just a view on a higher time frame chart now from here let us switch to one hour time frame now on this one hour time frame what you can see is market continuously it was respecting this trend line once this trend line is broken, market retested that level, created a double top and then today market has even broken this important supporting area. Now during this time, many people will have put option view looking at Nifty's one side momentum today. But I have a feeling that Nifty, it can move little towards the upside and downside and close by making a candle like this. So let me switch to 15 minutes time frame now now on this 15 minutes time frame what you can see is nifty has formed a base and people have sold here and people have sold here now my personal feeling is tomorrow if nifty comes out of this zone and sustains above 21,870 then it has a chance of moving towards the upside up to here or the next target will be to fill this gap i said bank nifty has a potential of moving towards the upside right if bank nifty makes a bigger momentum nifty can at least move up to this area 21,945 level tomorrow if nifty opens with gap up here then there is a chance that it can continue the momentum towards the upside maybe during the second half we can see a reversal now we can decide if you want to follow the trend where at the upper level we can plan for put option at the lower level we can plan for call option if we are planning for a call option maybe what we can do is we can draw the trend line so let's say market open with gap up it is trying to move towards the upside this can be our first target this will be our second target this is a crucial level in the market which is 22,000. if market breaks this level many people might think about entering a call option because a psychological level is broken and some people what they would do is at this upper level they might think about entering a put option considering this as the resistance but before reaching this level market has a chance of moving towards the downside so at this area if you are getting any m pattern setup like this double top pattern lower high and lower low setup here we can plan for a put option trade so the first half market can move towards the upside second half towards the downside 
by the end of the day it can form a wick like this without making any big movement now what if nifty opens with a gap down that time we have to start looking at bank nifty chart in bank nifty if it is trying to hold down to a lower range and giving a breakout then nifty is this breakdown might fail again market from here it can form a double bottom and move towards the upside so parallelly watching both the index becomes very important as per what i am thinking right now i feel momentum towards the upside is possible second half momentum towards the downside is possible now this is my view about the market if you enjoyed this analysis don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you think this kind of content will be useful for your friends please share it with them now that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one